Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about Blackstone Fortress, mainly on a character which is in that because it's been revealed that the men of iron have a character in Blackstone Fortress. So let's jump in and let's read this bit of lore. So the robot that we actually get in Blackstone Fortress is now confirmed as a men of iron and the law behind it is very very interesting now the image you seen up on the screen now is taken from the blackstone fortress book which is of course included in the actual box set you get like a law book a rule book and stuff like that and this is obviously taken from uh, the law kind of side of it i'm going to quickly read through it and then we'll discuss the actual um consequences of what this could mean for the men of iron in some capacity returning to this era of 40k so it says, the Imperial robot UR-025 is an auditor, even by the standards of precipice. Clad in thick metallic plating and bearing devastating weaponry, this battle machine is highly sought after ally for those looking to venture inside the Blackstone Fortress. Having arrived at the precipice on a dilapidated Imperial junk hauler, it emitted an auto-proclamation, claiming it had been sent by Magus Evericus, Natchez III, as an auto non data collection unit and that it had directives for sanctioned er er eradication for those who impeded its omnisire given duty but in truth the robot is far more ancient than anyone realizes its origins date back to the dark age of technology when mankind built thinking machines that eventually turned violently upon their masters known as the men of iron these sentient robots were all but wiped out Yet UR-025 has persisted over a long millennia, hiding on the fringes of the galaxy and allowing others to believe it as an autotatus tool of the Imperium. Unlike the other inhabitants of Precipice, it cares little for the trinkets of Xenos races that have been subsumed by the Blackstone Fortress. Instead, it seeks to obtain the technologies of the fortress itself, for in the Colossus space station, UR-025 sees a kindred being. Holy Emperor of Mankind. What the hell is going on now? So... It's confirmed that is a Men of Iron. Now, a lot of you chaps were saying, like, when we're going through this on the streams and stuff, Valor, that's a Men of Iron, that's a Men of Iron. I'm like, no, it's not. It's just like a normal servitor kind of Roma. The Men of Iron don't exist anymore. They're all gone. They've all been wiped out. And in the back of my mind, I was like, maybe, maybe it could be a Men of Iron. But no, GW will never do that. But guess what? It is. And holy emperor, this is what they look like. This is now confirmed as a man. Do we call it Men of Iron still? Or a Man of Iron is this the last guy? I'm not really sure. It doesn't mention it. I know that it says they've more or less been wiped out, but maybe there is a few more. So let's just refer it to as the men of iron still. So this thing has basically wormed its way in, lied to the people of the party saying it's basically been sent by um, a Magos and it hasn't been sent by a Magos. It's just wormed its way in to try and just jump on and use them to find the stuff that it, it wants to do. And I'm convinced that... If you can play this board game, you should be able to use this robot and actually turn on your party. If you seek the information that you want to seek and you play this as a character, I think it'd be a really, really cool option for you to turn against your party and just try and wipe them out. So whatever the end goal is in this game, you can achieve that end goal as you as yourself representing the men of iron the thing that gets me most excited about this is that we can actually picture this now like this is what the men of iron look like of course it's probably going to be different versions not just the claw and the gatling gun but this is basically a men of iron now and it's it's amazing if you know what the men of iron is and what they did in the dark age technology and all that you'll know really how important of a law thing this is to have when it comes to like a model or a character or just a bit of art it's absolutely huge now i don't think gw are going to go right men of iron are going to be the next faction or anything like that i think this is basically just a one-off just to give us a little in look into what happened you know in the first early stages of man and all the technology and stuff and what really could have been if these guys succeeded in the war against mankind cannot wait to get my hands on blackstone fortress only a couple days away before the pre-orders go up and of course it releases on the following week i'm going to sit down and be reading all the lore because this is just one segment 
of the law for one of the characters. I cannot wait to see without the chaos people in there, uh, the rogue trader guys, the Eldar, the crew and stuff, get all their background and all that kind of information. That's the kind of thing that keeps me going and keeps me happy because I absolutely love 40k law. And of course, if there's anything special just like this, I'll make sure I do videos of it and pass all that information along as well. Super excited. Cannot wait to get my hands on it. Thank you for watching this video and I shall see you all very, very soon. See you now and bye-bye.